That is the instructions. guys welcome to another episode of Bubba's Garage today was a corporate day so I had a ton of meetings but there is something that I've been dying to talk to you guys about I'm kind of excited about it I've really been needing to get this done for a really really long time I got a new NAS I dumped my old NAS for a new NAS no really I'm actually gonna keep the old NAS as my mistress Western Digital my cloud eight terabyte mirror set up with the RAID one gives me four terabytes of storage but i have the redundancy of having another drive inside of the same unit just in case one fails now for most of you guys out there that are familiar with backups and redundancy that is no and i mean absolutely no excuse for not having a backup redundancy is not a backup it is if one drive fails you have another drive if you delete something, it's gone, it's gone forever. There is no backup. Having a backup in the event that you delete something, you can go back to a previous backup and recover what it was that you lost. Here in Bubba's Garage, our videos are getting really big. We record most, if not all of our videos in 720p, 60 frames per second minimum. Some of our slow-mo or fast stuff we do in 100 frames per second. I had the D-Link 320 NAS set up. We were running just a four terabyte mirror, so we only had two terabytes of storage space that we could actually use. Went out and got the eight terabyte MyCloud mirror. I'm really happy with it. I love the configuration options that you have with it. Western Digital has done a fabulous job, and I mean a fabulous job. That is the instructions. Plug it in, go to a website, and you're ready to go. Um, it's really good. By default, the thing comes on and it's pre-set up, everything's public. Not sure I'm happy about that. I had to not make it all public by default. Um, even worse than that, by default, every time you add a user, if you put in an email address for the user, they become a MyCloud user. It would turn around and send them an email that they would create an account with mycloud.com and they would be able to log into this NAS remotely. Um, that's cool and that's great, but man, security was a huge concern. And without knowing exactly how this NAS operated with Western Digital MyCloud service um, was very concerning to me. So the first thing I did is I blocked it all out. I shut down everything because I needed to understand how Western Digital's my cloud service was truly working before I just opened up uh, a network attached storage device to the rest of the world. Uh, today, it is still disabled and it will remain that way. This unit comes with two four terabyte drives. Um, so it's an eight terabyte mirror, mirror. They act as one. So every time you copy a file to your NAS, it will actually be replicated across both drives. So if one drive fails, you just pop another drive into it and it'll replicate and restore that drive uh, as if you never lost it before. If you're not concerned with backups, you just need to be, be able to have replication in the event that something goes bad, then by all means, this is a perfect solution for you. Now, if you're concerned with backups, you gotta have another plan, okay? Now, this comes with a gigabit ethernet plug, so you can plug it into your, NAT, your current router or, or, or switch, whatever it is that you're using and you can plug in external USB devices for backup. Now, how friendly is that backup? Um, you know, I looked at it, it probably works really well with another MyCloud backup system. Um, you can plug in a USB drive, uh, whether it's an external USB hard drive, uh, like a MyBook or, or any of those things, or you can plug in a memory stick and just back up certain things. Now you're not gonna get that far. I mean, uh, most memory sticks aren't gonna be four terabytes. So um, you'll have to plan for that. But the backup is so important because if you're like me and you actually delete the raw footage folder of whatever day it is that you're working on, and I've done that, I've done that so many times, 
then you can actually go back and pull it from one of your backups. This is just my honest opinion on the Western Digital My Cloud 8 terabyte mirror. If you guys have any questions, please leave them below. If you really like this video, please give us a huge thumbs up. If you really, really like this video and you want to stick around for some more upcoming videos here on Bubba's Garage, please subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you on the flip side. Good night, everybody.